All right, so I pose this question to you guys. Are the Giants and are the Raiders tanking? Now, we all know, right? We all know it is a given unspoken rule that you don't tank in the NFL. It is highly frowned upon. This is this is not the NBA. This you know, one star player will not turn around a crappy team. We know this. But we also know these two teams, the Giants and the Raiders, did not start this season intending to tank. But through seven weeks, going into the eighth week, both teams are near and or at the bottom of the entire league. Uh, one team was put in a position that their best player wanted more money than the team can afford. Everybody puts this on the coach because he has complete control. Oh, he, he got rid of him because he's not, he's not a Gruden guy. No, it's just that the Raiders could not afford to pay Derek Carr his contract that they gave him that he's not living up to, but that's a separate discussion um, and afford to pay that kind of money to Khalil Mack. So they traded him and they got value out of it. And then they started sucking and then they started sucking more and they got lucky against the Browns and they still suck. So Gruden's like, yeah, this receiver is not doing much. Let's get rid of him. We got a first round pick for that. Now we got three next year and five total over the next two years. I like this. And I did a video saying that because of Gruden, you know, the NFL's turned into Madden 19. You know, it, he's basically doing to the team now what I do to each individual franchise when I play Madden. I come in, I trash the entire roster, I get as many picks that I can and I set up a squad that's going to go anywhere between 3 and 13 and, and 0 and 16. Uh, he didn't intend to tank just like Shermer and, and Gettleman and everybody didn't intend to tank but it, it's it's just don't count it out. At this point both teams need to turn it around. Uh, the Raiders more so than the Giants. I've already said the Giants are a quarterback away from eight and eight. Um, that's just I think it's Eli. I think he's I honestly I think he's playing for his namesake. Uh, I think I expect him to retire after this year. I can fully see that. Um, so essentially both teams, you know, Gruden wants somebody that, that he can can groom. He can he can bring along that that's a blank slate after what he's seen in car. So he will definitely want the, the top quarterback in this draft. Um, the giants will want the best quarterback in this draft because they want to replace Eli Manning. So how do we do this? We, we tank, we go for number one, baby. That's the only way to do this. You have to tank. And then you have to take that and you have to turn it around, right? Yes. What's the best way to do that? What does it show? Quarterback. Look what happened with Carson Wentz. Shittier than arguably he would have been MVP had he not gotten injured. So who's the best quarterback in the draft? And it's arguably, and it can be arguably, because, I mean, Locke has his defenders. Greer has his defenders. But, I mean, consensus pick is, is Justin Herbert. So, who will win that number one spot? I want you guys to go down to the comments below and tell me your thoughts on this. I want to know from you guys, what team has the better shot of tanking and getting Herbert? Is it going to be the Giants? 
or is it going to be the Raiders? Because honestly, like, I know one's going to, even if they go one and two, one's going to get Locke and then one's going to get, one's going to get Herbert. Because I, I think those are the top two quarterbacks in this draft. Um, but honestly, like, who's going to get number one? Like, uh, on the outside looking in, me, myself, I personally think it's probably more likely than not going to be the Raiders. I just think that. I think uh, the Giants have a couple more wins in them that that they can they can reel out because I know I know Eli is gonna come back and be like, oh, I need to show something. So I know that's gonna happen. But those are my honest thoughts on this. I think honestly, both teams did not intend to tank, but they're pretty much in tanking mode right now because they have no other choice. Um, so now it's just a race for who's going to get Justin Herbert. Like, I think that's the big question now is which one of these teams is going to land the, their quarterback of the future. So drop down in the comments below guys. Let me know what you think. Leave, leave a like on this video, show your support for the channel guys. If you guys have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, keep up on all the action, enable your notifications. That way, every time I drop a video, you guys will be notified. And I really want to know your guys' thoughts on this, so I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. That being said, you guys, y'all have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you guys may live, please be safe. I'll see you guys next time.